Face, I have face makeup on. I have face I makeup on, and on too. I have the, my concealer. You don't even look like you need to put makeup on. Oh, I need to put makeup on. I it's, feel like you can see the like the reflection stuff. Yeah. You know, like oh. fine, like it's not all white. But this isn't either over here. Hey guys, Hi. look at Mac Main Place, Shalia. We got so many people already. Are you excited? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like so many people just like popped on. Um, oh my gosh, we're so excited to have you. If already, this is Hi, gonna, I, can, I can tell this is gonna be a great group. I'm, I'm feeling it. So before we get into who I have here and what we're gonna be doing, I just wanted to always, we like to preface these table talks by saying this is a space for us to have community, to start our day off with positivity in the world of cancer, nope old cancer but cancel culture and everyone finding something wrong about someone and something negative we want to make sure that you have a space where you can talk about what's really happening and you have an open ear and an open heart and people here to talk with um, today is going to be about how to go the extra mile or like times that you've gone the extra mile or anything kind of surrounding that but I'm super stoked to have a new face here with me so who the heck are you so I'm Ashley Mata Ali. -i. Wow. One more time, Mata Ali. -i. Back of the room. <laughs> Just so you got it. <laughs> um, obviously, that's not my last name. Well, it is mine, but it comes from my husband. You earned it. I earned it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I earned it. Um, and I am the regional or MRSO, so manager of regional <coughs> sales and operations for OC2, um, which is the IE, like legitimately the IE. We're hot Cheetos, we're born. Do we pull it? Yes, hot Cheetos, hot Cheeto fries, we're born in the IE. Like for real or they're just popular there? No, they're just popular there. Okay, don't like don't act like you're giving me hot Cheeto trivia that I'm gonna use on Jeopardy it is. and then it hot not be right. Cheeto trivia. Here Rude. we come. Oh my gosh, look at Lindsay! Lindsay come through! That comes, brings all the folks. I saw Brittany come through. It's really weird, like I wanna turn my head. You can turn if you okay. like. Okay. But I'll I'll be here to help you out if anything. Um so yeah, I think that um, we've been talking a lot. I think that this is a space for us to not only share challenges, but share successes. And I think, you know, I don't know if it's just me. Like sometimes I feel like, especially like an update or even in like meetings when you're around your peers, when you share your successes, sometimes you're just like, like, I don't know, you don't want to feel like a teacher's pet, mm -hmm. like a brown noser or something. And so I want you guys to feel like this is a space where you can share things that you've done and you can be proud of because I, I've i been um, really thinking about what it does to you when you go the extra mile with somebody, when you feel like you've actually helped somebody, like how that feels. I know that um, we're just, we're also going to like get into doing makeup mm -hmm. um, where I'm thinking I'm going to do like more shimoki on the eyes. Ashley already yelled at I me can't. for having stuff on my I'm eyes. I'm sitting next to her like full judgment because she has on like the best makeup ever and to think I'm going to do my makeup next to her is crazy but I'm allergic to the training facility if anyone didn't know so my eyes are like going to pop out of my head fine. So I'll focus on the eyes. And Perfect. I just have concealer on my no, eyes. No, she does like She has really like 20 products on. I, do, I don't. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to do that and then more of a nude lip. And then Ashley, if I see a dark I'm going to do a dark that. lip because everyone gave me compliments last uh, week on my dark lip. I was looking for carnivorous, but I couldn't find oh. it. So this one's high drama, which I use too. You know what I heard? Um, so Anika was actually wearing, a, a, she was wearing crowned. Retro oh, yes. with the okay. And she had um, the chili, um, devoted to chili powder mm, on, on top, top of it. And I she saw said, someone else do that too on Insta not too long ago. Yeah, she said it made I, it I'm gonna feel try it. really, really good. Okay. Like it took away like that feeling that of a retro matte liquid lip color. I am going to use the Prep and Prime lip with it, mm -hmm. um, which is something that I don't normally use, but because it's free. <laughs> free. <laughs> GWP, <laughs> um, I want to try it and use it. And you know, Alicia was just talking too. She was like, maybe this will work on our eyes. I know I've seen someone use it in their brows before. So I'm interested to know, like, how else do you guys use it? And Look what do you find just this for? being a total host right I mean, now. I'm going to totally Sorry. take over. Move over, I'm Alicia. A, I'm, I'm <laughs> fired. Ashley's the new host of our table talks. Um, yeah, because I was feeling the texture. It's a... It's so funny because with Peppermint Prime Lip... I have to lip, smell it. Okay. We can do I that. Know. Sorry. Every time I use Peppermint Prime Lip, I'm like, why don't I use this more often? Like, mm -hmm. I... Like, even when I was talking about it with Isabel last week, like, I just feel like it's a step that I don't... Uh, like, 
give myself but when I do I'm like dang that was it made my lips look so much better but then I was feeling it and I was like dang this could feel really good on the eyes I know that like Carlton a few weeks back was saying that when someone's eyes are watery he likes to put it in those areas because it like seals over and then it like Ooh. creates like a waterproof seal okay. I like that because so, my eyes are really watery so I feel like <laughs> anything that I can add to it to like help it work so much better I mean I'm literally sitting here and it's like running down my face right now already already I'm allergic Okay, well, so Ashley's Actually, not going to have as, uh, I mean, you wouldn't be the first one. <laughs> um, but, uh, the, uh, nope, it's gone. So, All right. Let's, let's get it. So I want to just like, as we're speaking, go ahead. Oh, yes. And Susanna did say, we just got um, an article from Elle oh. Magazine where they ranked lip primers because lips have made a comeback. Nude lip, mm -hmm. matte lip, glossy lip, like all the lips are here. And uh, Purple Prime Lip was actually voted the number one lip primer. So I don't, that, if that's, if Elle Magazine is telling me to do it, I'm going to do it. And I'm also doing something today on my lips where I'm just doing liner and a gloss. And I find that sometimes, because I like move my lips around a lot, sometimes the gloss disperses. You move your lips around a lot? Like, like, like I when you talk or like, just in general? Just when there's stuff on my lips, like I'm constantly like, hmm. I feel like I eat it. I like you like the way it feels, like the texture. There's just it's different than not having anything, so it okay. makes me very aware. Oh, well. Um, and I feel like it moves a lot, so I think that the Prep and Prime Lip will really help that gloss stay on. Um, but I would love to hear. Uh, oh, I love that everyone is obsessed about uh, Prep and Prime Lip. I think that that's why it does so well. I remember at one point we were getting some information in Canada that like it. It was like I think it's in like their top ten. Like in Canada, they sell so much prep and prime lip. Wow. Like it's like hand in hand. And I feel like in the states, like we are so affected by color. Mm -hmm. Like we see like a color product and we get so excited that sometimes those clear products are just like whatevs. Uh, but they, well, I feel like even having it on my lip right now, it just feels so different. And yeah. I know that when I go to put that retro mat on, it's gonna make such a difference. But I, I like, someone said before here, I don't know who it was, forgive me, um, about using pigments and stuff on their lips and using the Prep and Prime before it. Yeah, right there, right there. Oh, uh, shadow pigments Yeah, on lips? Mm -hmm. which would make sense because it'll stick to it. Powder kit, oh yeah, they've used the Powder Kiss lipsticks with eyeshadows and pigments. I, I love that us as artists, when we have something new, we typically don't just listen to where it's supposed to go. We kind of play with it in all arenas to figure out how we like it as artists and find new ways. And it's just the creative mind that we have, which is so, so awesome. Agreed. Prep and Prime on the lip. Retro matte, then more Prep and Prime lip, and then that isn't moving, and it feels way better, Carlton said. So you do a Prep and Prime lip sandwich, and that Perfect. is how things will Okay, all right. Things will I never love it. Work. I love that we have all of these ideas for Prep and Prime lip. Mm -hmm. Now we can go give them for free. You get Prep and Prime lip. You get Prep and Prime lip. All those moms. All the moms. And everyone And else. the brothers. <laughs> um, and the husbands. But I, I think, well, and it's interesting because I think, like, we wanted to use Prep and Prime Love, of course, because it's a gift with purchase for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. And I think that these gifts with purchase are a moment for us to kind of go a bit above and beyond and like give some a customer something that they maybe didn't expect. And it's not something that we've always done. Like before we really only had samples and now we're having more of these things to kind of surprise and delight our customers. But like what else do you guys really like to do to make your customers go dang like that experience was on another level and mac is a place that i'm always going to go because of how i feel there um yes drums here from el paso sometimes I like to wow, put a lip primer around the lips and go over it with foundation to i love how lips. far it touches everyone i'm so new to this and like instagram el paseo, sorry oh el paseo oh i got it oh wow there's an e i did i say paso you said el paso I'm really sorry about it's that okay. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> didn't go to ITT Tech. I'm so sorry. My <laughs> reading comprehension is a little off today. Um, I can't. But still, I feel like it's touched so many people in just this short amount of time. And what? It's only been like nine minutes. Yeah, I need to like do it's some crazy. makeup. Oh, I do. I, you don't have to. I don't have to do much. I just, well, I I just have feel like very I gotta minimal. do something. And Downey just came in. We had an Hi, awesome Matt update go yesterday. So Hi, excited Amber. To have them. I don't know yes. everyone's instant names. I know like. Everyone, like some people, fancy Martha. She's from um, Macy's main place. Okay, got it. Hi, <laughs> Martha. No, not Corona. Not Corona. 
other Macy's Martha. main place. Mm-hmm. Other Martha. Oh, awesome. okay, yes. Awesome Martha. Hi, Martha. How are you? <laughs> she was on call before. Right? <laughs> yes. Or, or mm-hmm. we all? I think so. We are wolf. <laughs> Me too. Um, Same. I'm going to uh, just as okay. we get into the Sorry, I didn't know. You don't got to cut. I'm not cutting you off. All right. Um, they're, they're here for you though. They're here for Ashley and all pro tips. So, um, <laughs> but I, um, am going to be working a lot with eyeliners. I do all the time just because I feel like it, um, uh, makes pigments really hold. And I already have a little bit of, um, the Smoothwear Concealer in NW50 on my eyes, which Ashley I think is 20 products. And so I could probably get away with just wearing this, but I'm not that kind of girl. So you gotta... There's Best no. So wow! Them. Yes! Thank you, Dre! Ulta! Look at love that. you. Oh, I yeah. love everyone, though. But when you're sitting next to her and you see it, it doesn't look like it's like sculpt. But I know you guys all know that because her makeup is ridiculous all of the time. Um, and I feel like I want to sit her here and just watch her do her <laughs> makeup because I know that that's what I do. I let my live feeds just run all day and I would rather look at the lives than actually the pictures sometimes. So mm. I'm excited just to watch her do it. So what am I going to use? I'm going to use the new, um, Electric Wonder. Thank you. Yeah. Electric Wonder. I was going to say Bronze Aged, but that's not the right It thing. was that. It was It's that. okay. I got you. Um, so Electric Wonder, it's the new Next to Nothing, correct? Yes, next to nothing bronzer. Bronzer. Um, I love bronzer. I th- I wish this was in the real packaging because I think the packaging is seriously that marble. I'm sure you guys have started. Obsessed. It's been coming into some stores too. Like it was okay. at Mac Brea the other day, and I was just like, oh, like a light shone from the heavens onto oh, no, the display. Beautiful. So gorge. Um, oh look, when you were at Macy South Coast, I think that must have been when she was on call. For yes, you. that's right. That's right. Yes, Martha, <laughs> see come through. Um. So I so the reason why I thought that um, talking about going the extra mile would be something interesting. Not only I mean, of course, going the extra mile could be sharing all these amazing tips about prep and prime lips. Something that somebody may have no idea about. Sharing your knowledge and investing in somebody really understanding how this is going to be beneficial to them can be going the extra mm-hmm. mile. But I was at the um, meet and greet two weeks ago for I Love Sarai. We talked mm-hmm. about it last week with Isabel. And we had to shut down the store because there was a ton of people. So for three hours, the, the store was shut down. And there was a giant line, but we said, like, if you have any Mac needs, there's a Nordstrom right down the way. And this woman came up and she was, like, talking to the security guard and she's like, I just, I just want to buy something. And of course, he's a security guard. He doesn't have, like, all of our verbiage and, like, romance. He's just like, yeah, right. nah, bro. And so I was like, no, ma'am, <laughs> like, uh, what's going on? Talk to me. And she's like, I just want to get something. I'm like, are you cool to take a, a stroll with mm-hmm. me? Oh, oh walk down Mac Lane and she's like yeah totally so her husband came over and he's like all right I'm gonna get a like a wetzel pretzel and I was like I'll take care of her don't worry so we were walking and talking and just having a great time I got to the counter thank goodness for the the girls at Nordstrom Cerritos because they helped me find where things were because of course I know where nothing is and she was super chill and she like wanted a lipstick and then she saw this super glittery gloss so she wanted that too and she ended up I'm sure purchasing more than she wanted but she had a smile the whole time and I remember leaving just thinking like oh that felt really good I don't and I couldn't even really explain it like it almost invigorated me. Mm-hmm. like I almost was just like well you were invested yeah like I just had like a, a bounce of energy and it just made me feel like happy and so I was like what is this what what why am I feeling this way? Mm-hmm. And like I said, don't I didn't I didn't go to the University of Phoenix, so I don't know like how the brain <laughs> works, like the medulla oblongata and all I the can't. synapses firing. I wasn't sure what the science behind it was, right? but luckily YouTube exists in the world, so I typed in like helping people and how it affects you, mm-hmm. and I started watching all this stuff that basically there's these like pleasure centers in your brain. So like when you fall in love or when you eat candy, they spark up, mm-hmm. and when you help someone those same spaces spark up and people who are very helpful tend to have lower blood pressure Mm -hmm. they 
tend to be healthier. They just tend to be happier people. And I was like, gosh, in that one moment, I felt like I had, like, it was like I drank a million cups of coffee, you know? So it just made me think there is something to this and I want to do it that much more. And like, totally. then I was like looking for people, like trying to sniff so, so people out, like it, a so Sanderson sister. Again. Yeah, yeah like, I wanted totally. to walk more people over that feeling. and hang out. It was crazy. They're really enjoying your bronzer. Thank you. I really like it too. I thought maybe it was going to be a little bit too dark. Um, or is it the kind of the deeper one? one? But I think it's fine. Yeah, it's the Canyon Dreaming is what it's called. Canyon Dreaming. Yeah, I, I, I hope that's the working name. I think that might be the lighter one. Okay. And then, um, well, the, a lot of the names are inspired by like the desert. Like there's Got like don't it. make okay. mesa around. Like it's right. like um, Santa Fe kind of. Perfect. I'm wearing the darker one actually just here. But what I normally do is I put a little bit of bronzer on and then I cover my whole face in global glow. Yeah, well I moved it down. I love global glow. It gets kind of so dirty good. on me though, but I'll use it like on my eyeshadow. I think it's amazing. Um, but I did use it all over because I like to be 10 shades darker than what I really am. Mm -hmm. um, and I really do like it. I liked the texture of it. I felt like it went on really smooth. Mm -hmm. It looks really, it looks very second it skin. It does. It, it looks does. like looks next good. to nothing I, on your skin. What? Who are you? <laughs> I can't. This is why. Um, but I think what, like, like what Alicia was talking about, like giving, I, I think about like giving service or doing service. And I am really inspired by my husband. Um, he has done service his whole life. Um, he served a mission for four years. Where did he go? Um, he went to Buenos Aires, Argentina. Oh, nice. So he speaks Spanish fluently. But a lot of like what he teaches our kids and what he inspires me through is doing service or giving service. And that could be anything. I mean, the simple act of like opening the door for someone. Totally. I think that that goes so far. Or, or like even saying thank you yes. and like appreciating Oh my gosh, things. the gratitude. Oh, it, I hope he's watching because grateful is like his best word, like his favorite word in the mm -hmm. whole world. Please be grateful. And so I think about that all the time and I try to like inspire that in myself, mm -hmm. but also like inspire that through other people. And I know sometimes it's hard. Like there are those moments where I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? How do I get past this? Or how do I help this person? I'm stuck. Like I, yeah. you know, like there's totally. always that one mm -hmm. customer or, or a customer that you feel like you you're not connecting with. Oh, and that could be all the time. I feel right? like, I think that a lot of, I, I don't know, I can only speak for myself, but yeah. I can be like a little socially awkward. Like I was actually watching a interview with Maisie Williams and um, Sophie Turner from Game uh -huh. of Thrones. Yes. And Who's were, married, I just was so excited, that she <laughs> married Joe Jonas. Uh, yeah. Joe Jonas. By Elvis on Elvis and Priscilla's 52nd no. wedding anniversary. Yeah. But, um, so cute. Okay. But I um, was watching a video of them because they're best friends and they were say saying like what they admired about each other. And Sophie Turner said that she really admired that Maisie Williams could go into a room and like connect with anybody. Mm -hmm. And she's like, when I go into a room, I go directly to the bar and get drunk enough so that I can hopefully connect with somebody. And I think that sometimes that's where I sit, where like small talk and like finding that space can be scary for uh -huh, me, you totally. know, like, and if you're with a customer that, like, isn't necessarily picking up what you're putting down, it can be really scary to try to, like, put yourself out there to feel uncomfortable to try to find a thing that sticks. Well, it makes you, like, feel vulnerable. Totally. Or, like, exposed. Uh -huh. You know, I think that, like, feeling of, like, standing naked in a room full of people, that, like, that feeling of exposure. Yeah. I think sometimes that's the hardest thing to get past, and I know even for myself, I am, I think I'm, like, you know, friendly and like outspoken and chatty. Outspoken is an understatement. So, <laughs> so I, I feel like it's, I can find ways to connect, but there's even moments for me where I'm like, gosh, wh what am I doing wrong? You know, and I have to take a step back and assess it a little bit. Like, I always think it's me mm -hmm. um, and what I could do differently to like connect with that customer or try to make them feel accepted. Yeah. Yeah, like, so that's really all I want everyone to feel is accepted totally. for that like moment in time. Like whenever we talk about our mantra and like creating a safe space for people to come and express themselves, like I get tears in my eyes because I feel that, you know? And so I think that sometimes I'm just, I think what it really is is I'm scared I'm going to look dumb. Mm -hmm. Like I'm going to like try to like ask them stuff and they're just going to shut me down and there's, there's like rejection there. But rarely does that ever happen because other people just want to connect with you as much and they're feeling the same way and yeah. it's so hard to like get out of your own head in those, totally. those spaces yeah. but when you do connect with someone like 
even if they, it doesn't even become about like being at Mac anymore. It's just about connecting with another person. It feels so good. Like Carlson even said like he has, or I, I feel like I've seen a few comments of yeah. just like people that come back and want to see you all the time. And like, that's what keeps you going. Like when I have customers who like just want to say hi to me because they're in the mall and they know that I'm there, like I, that's insane to me. I, like yep. the fact that somebody wants to take time out of their day just to be like, hey girl, I acknowledge that you exist in the world. Right. Like, thank you. Like, you yeah, know, that's totally. all I really want. I love that I like to just smile more. I think that a smile goes so far and you never know what someone's going through or what they're experiencing and to be able to like bring joy or have that like smile with them. Mm -hmm. I was on Insta, of course, and I think it, Nino, forgive me, I, don't, I know it was one of your stores, but they brought like bunnies and doggies to their um, update go or their like go forward meeting. Like, real? Real, real. And it was to like bring joy and even talking about it, it like, just the thought of being there to hold the bunny. I love bunnies, but I won't allow my daughter to have one because I would have to take care of it. But like the thought of being able to like hold them and touch them and like bring joy, that's exactly what they do. And I think that that's essentially like how we need to treat our customers or at least how I try to. Yeah, it's you like know? the same way you feel when you like hold an orca, right? Oh my gosh, I can't with the orca. She's like terrified of them. Definitely <laughs> terrified. And it's not like, them it is them and yeah. just so you guys all know if you dm them to me i have to open it right because so you in it. order to see it you have to open it and then oh magically there's an orca in a water yeah or not in a water i don't like the tank like the idea of the tank in the water and then the orca in the tank in the water and to think that like human beings get into the tank with them th no i think it sounds great we shouldn't be doing that all right, so that doesn't necessarily bring you joy, but no. puppies and rabbits. Yes, Cat. bunnies. Bunnies. Not rabbits, because I feel like a rabbit is like, you know, like. Can we not shame rabbits? A rabbit's <laughs> like a wild rabbit, a bunny's like an animal? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, her joy is when customers leave happy and confident because they know that, she, she knows that she made their day. Like, I think that we all have that feeling um mm -hmm. you know i've always even like in being in training like i i have a lot of time to reflect on my time as an artist and like what those experiences really did to me as a a person you know and i think a lot back to those days where you get somebody with a giant list and mm -hmm. I remember I'd be so stoked. Like I was so stoked when I saw a big list because I knew I was making my goal that day. Uh -huh. I knew that my AUS was gonna be bomb. I didn't even have to really work that hard. I just needed to pull some stuff and we were good. But a lot of time, well every time, that person, that feeling would walk out right with that list and it never did anything for me. But when someone would come in and I would sit them down and they would tell me, listen, I've never found a lipstick that I like and we find the perfect shade for them and they're so stoked and you see them light up because they just found something that they can keep in their purse that's gonna make them feel good. Yep. Those people stick on me forever. Mm -hmm. And it, it, those are the things that I always go back to and like when I think about like when I'm having a crappy day or whatever it is like I can think about those moments and I'm just like oh that was that's why I am where I am you know mm -hmm. that's what makes all the craziness worth it you know that's what makes being this this role that we're in where we're asked of so much like the, at the core of it that's all that matters and what keeps us all going yep mm. I like those Preach. moments I love and hashtag joy and hashtag AUS for hashtag <laughs> goals. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, well, I think it's interesting because like we talk a lot about AUS and yep. we talk a lot about that because I think when you invest in somebody mm -hmm. and you really know who they are, you typically, I don't know why I'm like, expecto patrona. <laughs> yes! like, Harry is Potter! Is um, I, uh, but so like, you all know. Yeah. Harry um, Potter freak. Oh, perfect. Just, well, I, you know what those I have are wands. one of those secrets. So I have Dumbledore's one and Bellatrix no. Lestrange. As we should bring them in. Bellatrix. Well, first of all, I just love her oh, in general. I think Bonham she. Carter. I, yeah, I uh -huh. would murder her name if I said it out loud. But I love her and I love how eccentric she is. Uh -huh. um, but Harry Potter in general, I love like that escape and that brings me joy. Mm. And thinking about like just joy in general and making sure that I am. What is really? I can't believe her with this makeup right now. 
I'm just, it's uninterrupted. Let me check to make sure. <laughs> it is. Okay, all right, that's so fine. you're gonna be my fact no. checker. Okay, that's right. I think I, um, was, oh, I was Sorry. saying that like, I think sometimes AUS can be a, mm. a tool for us to see if you're doing those things. Yes, sometimes AUS can just be like wheeling and dealing, use carsmen, like you wanna get this, you wanna get this, you wanna get this. But for people who are really successful in making their goals and consistently making their AUS, it's because they're listening to who's in front of them and they're caring enough to make sure that they're finding products that they're gonna love and wanna have forever. Because anyone can come into our store, like, Anyone can be in our store, have four hours, and tell everyone about everything. But it takes a very special person who's dedicated a lot of time to their skill to be able to talk to a person for two minutes and know in the back of their head, oh my gosh, these two products are gonna be life. Mm -hmm. Like, this is what they need. They don't even know about it, but they're, they, like, if they only knew. That is a skill that not many people have. It's a very max skill and something that you guys should be really proud of and know that it's not like I think that sometimes we hear AUS or we hear goals and we just hear sale 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 dollar 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 but it really is an indication of how well you are doing things oh yes Ashley there you go fact checker. there she is <laughs> I am the fact checker <laughs> apparently on my Facebook I was like two days ago oh they hacked my account and what? I wouldn't have known if like Nicole England and um, Andrea from the Temecula freestanding store texted me and was like Ashley what is on your Facebook I, I didn't even know how to get it down Andrea had to Google it for me and send it to me so that I could take it down that's crazy I don't crazy I don't really have a Facebook okay. I have like what I had tinder years back yes. like I got a fake one so that I could and just it like have mine, it not like me and my husband uh, so I didn't even know how to go into it it was terrible so thank you Andrea if it wasn't for you we went nice. and I got it down look at this community. and I had to change everything like I had to change my like I Apple ID it was oh. it was intense I will tell you, not to be off topic, but Sorry, I'm like, what? no, way no. off topic. No, 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 I like your off topic. I'm rubbing my lips and it feels really good. <laughs> like, I, it I'm, does, yep. I it agree. just, it feels, I think because it's clear too, like, this is something for like when I move my lips that I, sh I feel like I should wear like all the time. Well, I wonder, like, could, I, I want to put it in my brows because it feels like a little tacky. And so I'm interested to see. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Okay, no get, get, uh, Alicia's going to read it mm -hmm. for us. Um, but I will say a comment up there was that um, they feel like customers are coming in to escape. Like they're mm -hmm. shopping at the mall to escape and I wholeheartedly believe that. And I feel like makeup is the ultimate escape because there's like, there's times where I go into Forever 21 and I pull 16 things and not one looks good. Not one mm -hmm. is the right thing. I feel totally defeated. Like I just feel like a big fat cow or something, you know, like, and I feel like crap. But I go then to get, look at makeup, and makeup always makes me feel better. It, I agree. It puts sparkle on my cheeks. It, it does what I need it to do. And so I think that people do come to us to like completely escape what their real world is happening, like what's happening in it. And I think that like in a lot of our update goes, the icebreaker is about what brings us joy. And so many ones that I've gone to, people have been like a vacation, extra snoozing, like a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. Like it's all about relaxing and, and, and having that. And I think that the mall can be sometimes the least relaxing place in the whole world. So it really is our job to create that atmosphere for someone and like let them just breathe out, forget maybe that they, you know, have their rent to, to pay and they're not quite sure if they're gonna make it or that gas prices are rising or that they don't fit into their jeans or whatever it may be. They get to just like be themselves and like truly breathe And easy. enjoy that moment. Mm -hmm. And it's not attached to anything Nothing. else. It's just be in our space and be yep. good. All right, I'm gonna go back to that one that Martha was saying. She had a customer who wanted to come in and learn how to cover her pigmentation and that she never had a makeup that'll last all day. So she sat her down and told her step by step how to cover her pigmentation and sent her home with samples and her number, or and the number to order um, so she could try it first. She came back the next week and bought all of our products because she loved how it lasted all day. So Martha was I like, listen, that. it's not even about this. No. I want you to feel good. And and there was that woman I'm sure felt a sense of connection to you I'm sure that she was like mm -hmm. I want her like I think that sometimes our customers know that to make to they want to help us out by giving us sale like they think that that's 
what shows that like, they care. Yeah, that's their like way. Yeah, yeah that's, that's their, their yeah, you know, totally. knowing that you really affected me, what I do for you is I buy things from you. Right. Like that's mm -hmm. the connection I think in the brain. <laughs> Once again, didn't I, not a college scholar. Oh. Um, however, I, you know, like, but I think that that's that customer saying, I care about you. Mm -hmm. I want you to be successful. You really, you impacted me. Totally. I don't want to just call someone that I have no, no connection with. I want you to get this, you know, which is amazing. And I mean, and naturally, we're, we seek connections, like just in life in general, you know, individually and personally, people build on those connections. And, you know, it's why we get married or it's why we have girlfriends and boyfriends or whatever it may be. But we as humans need that. We thrive on it. And we can find connections are good in every single person that we meet and touch every day. Totally. You know, and... I, you know, I, I look at my children a lot. My daughter, if you guys don't know, her name's Noah Pink. She's a Sag, but we call her the Beast. Um, and she is like the most honest person that I know. And she will not let anyone talk down to anyone else. She will not stand for it. She'll just straight up tell them, I'm not gonna be your friend today. Because she does not like people to be mistreated. Mm. And it just irks Aww. her to her core. It does, she does not like it. Or my son doesn't like when someone is sitting by themselves, like at lunchtime. He'll come home and tell me about this little boy that sits by himself. And so now he sits with him. Aww. And so the, it's those little things where I'm like, it's just so innocent. But it like, that brings me joy that they're making like those decisions on their own yeah. to be a better person and to like make someone feel good. Cause essentially that's what, sh what they're doing. You know, her saying, I'm not going to be your friend. Yeah. Well, she didn't like how you treated that other person, you know, and that that's just that. She she wants them to enjoy her space. Yeah. And well, his space. Well, I'm that speaks so much um, to your parenting, you know, like you, <laughs> you built, you know, like these kids are taking from you. But it also tells me, like, it's these kids that don't have a lot of outside interference like yep. we do from society, and that's their instinct mm -hmm. is to help people, want to make people feel welcome, want to bring people in and not feel sad, you know? That's how yeah. all of us feel. And so I think that in our craft, we have a way to really exercise this. I will say, like, I have never been more covered by text and it makes me feel so good because I love all of the people. I know, like, it's all wonderful. The sharing. I wish I could read it all. Well, we'll go, we'll definitely okay. go back and scroll through it. But I think that, you know, Positivity isn't something that just naturally happens no. all the time. Like you have to continue to bring yourself into that state of mind. You have to work at it. Yeah, and there's times do. when it feels I like I mean, I literally just had a conversation today where like maybe things weren't seen the right way. And uh -huh. so it's my job now to think about how do I take a step back from that, learn from it, and move forward in a way that is going to make me and people feel better. Well, I think Alicia too said something about like getting outside of your own space or like um, getting out of your own way. I, Sean Doran, who used to be my MRO back in the day, would always tell me I need to, you know, get out of my own way. And it's so true. I think a lot of times we stand in our own way, mm -hmm. not even knowing it. And the minute that you can like disconnect that, you can almost see clear. And I feel like I was able to see clear in, you know, certain situations or whatever the case may be, even if it's on a personal level. But I feel like when you can put yourself in that, you know, customer's place and try to inspire them, mm -hmm. I don't know. And, and we do makeup, like we're so close to them and in their personal space that you want to find that connection. I feel, I feel like it's so weird when you're doing someone's makeup and you don't even know their name. Yeah, it's like, hi, I can see every pore hi. in your skin, but like, um, I who are you? Like see your nostrils yeah. and smell your breath, but I don't know your name. I, I may just, poke you in the eye with I, but, mascara, but mm -mm, who cares? I don't know. That's just me. That's always been yeah. my thing is like I've always as a manager would come back and say, okay, that was a great sale, but do you know their name? Mm -hmm. I would always ask them. I, I want to know who they are and their name and what why they were here. Yeah. Well, and so Dre was saying that it's not even just about selling people a bunch of stuff. It's no. about showing them how to use it and like showing them maybe different ways that they didn't know. But I think that that is caring. Like uh -huh. I think that that's it. That's not even like a technique. That's just actually caring that your your customer 
knows what they're doing with the products that they have. It's not about saying like, did you want to supersize that? Oh, did you need this? Like, yeah. it's not inauthentic. It's real. And it's saying that like, I know you've invested into yourself, into these products. I want to make sure that you totally know what's going on. And I think that once you realize that that's what it's about, that's when you unlock a lot of the easiness in connecting with people. This, I, um, one of her, her customers is starting to transition. And so, uh, they, oh my gosh, they, I love, I read the end and they both ended up in tears. I tend to cry with things I like know, this, so I I'm going to try it. not to, but, um, it was her first time buying makeup. She was really hesitant and they, what she, location was this? Sorry. Um, the local mermaid. What location? Sorry, we'll that's out. the MRSO in me. I love Santo. I don't know because <laughs> because I want to know who she is. Like I want I want to feel connected. Okay, okay. I connect. want the connection. Okay, don't need to hit. You I need the emotional it. connection. <laughs> but I think that's another like I love that. You know, just as much as like you talk about well, your kids, and that comes from like the environment that you've made. A safe space. It's the environment and that you exactly. created. Yep. That doesn't just happen. People don't just sit down and be like. I'm comfortable to be exactly who I am. Right. That is a feeling that you gave somebody for them to be like, I can be my true self. And so many people wear masks all the time. Mm -hmm. They are fronting on social media. They're fronting in front of their coworkers. They're fronting in front of everyone to seem like everything is all good. And for somebody to just break those that down and feel okay to be who they are and who they want to be mm -hmm. and, and cry in front of you like what that's amazing I, I have chills like legit like goosebumps um ten was saying that she was mentioning from Carlton she loves that he said that one positive interaction usually usually will influence your next interaction and it'll just become that snowball and I totally agree and I feel like it can go either way because there are so many days where I've been at work where it's like I just feel like people aren't picking up what I'm putting down uh -huh. and like I, I make excuses I'm like oh, everyone's just here to return everyone just wants a back to neck no one wants anything that I say <laughs> you know like I, I, I tell myself this mm -hmm. and it's because I just keep getting further and further in the hole but don't you think that's you oh looking at it now yes of course but like I, and when I was going through it I'm like no not <laughs> me but you know like and once you break that and say like Calm down. Not just today. Just have fun. Mm -hmm. Look death in the face and say, not today. That's right. <laughs> Sorry, Game of Thrones. Um, but I, think I don't that, think I'm that far into the season. That's It's okay. You'll get okay. there. Um, that is when I think that you have to take an active space. But mm -hmm. it's so true. Like, sometimes things are just going well. Like, it, you know, like you'll be working with a customer. And like, I want everything. And you're like, like, every, everything, all of it. And it's like, your day just flies by because yep. everyone is just feeling you and you're sending out that energy. But and sometimes it, I think it's how you walk in. Uh, absolutely. Or how you're greeted yourself, mm -hmm. right? Like, that's our responsibility, too, as leaders or as artists or as whoever is in the building. I think about, like, when I was young and I would come into the house and I wouldn't say hi to my mom. Oh, oh, wow. Just the thought of, like, not saying hi to her. She would go off. Mm go off she hated that and it wasn't about that it was her house but just the acknowledgement of like saying hello yeah how are you doing today mm -hmm. like hi mom I'm here you know and I think about that in our stores and in our own homes like do we do that maybe we don't do it enough yeah we could probably do it more often agree I'm sure we could do a lot of things more often Definitely. you know um, Carlton said it's not about the money. It's no. just a byproduct of the human connection and Absolutely like creating agree. that all the time and and I think that that's we, in training, we're constantly trying to create different scenarios, different um, training modules, different role plays to make that connection. But once you realize it's not about anything else other than just giving a shit about who's in front mm -hmm. of you and making sure that they leave feeling incredible and wanting to come back and to, and they love Mac because of it. Cause I think that that's the coolest thing about our brand is that we are the faces of the brand. And so because they love what we did, they love our brand that much more. They connect us to yeah. the brand. Even like completely. We, in, when we were doing um, update, there was that whole uh, example of that woman from the North Central, I believe it was. And she had like gotten her makeup done for her husband's like 40th birthday. And like she found out that the girl like moved her lunch around to be yes. able to do it. Yes. And she, I 
remember. She had this paragraph about that artist and how much that artist affected her and how she is such a, a value to the brand. But then in the next paragraph, she talked about Mac and mm -hmm. why she loves Mac. And because Melissa gave that like gave her that service it made her love mac that much more and that's what ha like that's the magic that's what we try to articulate all the time but once yep. you find that you're good all right oh my gosh <laughs> preach it carl oh yeah everyone's carlton when are you gonna well, be carlton as well you want to just take you over been, yeah hi well, yeah knowing their I, name and i saw you were at the ren fair <laughs> oh, really? a ren, <gasps> ren fair right is that right oh my god i want to go to the ren it's fair like so a bad. Lark, like larping Live action role player, it's different. Okay, I mean, I'm sure there's some LARPing that go, goes on. Is it on. weird that I even know all this? No, it wasn't in like that movie Role Models or something. Well, I don't know. Where did you hear about LARPing? Just from the internet. Okay. Um, but I get excited because I love anything like that. So when I saw his makeup and his outfit, I was like, yes, can I go? It's <laughs> so much fun. I, I actually went with Nicole England like two years ago, and she saw one of her ex-boyfriends no. all done up, and she yes. was like... That was my high school I, boyfriend. Because my husband would never come. It's so much she fun. Would not, no. I um, they have this one drink where it's like they put Guinness in a cup, and you know how Guinness has all the foam. Mm -hmm. They pour like brandy until the foam no. disperses, and you have to chug it. It's dangerous, but it's so fun. So if you are of age, go to Irwin. Martha, I love all your comments too. This is so wonderful. I know she, and I think. It's so, it's interesting because I think that every time I leave these table talks, I do feel like, damn, like, Mac is my family. Mac is my space. Absolutely. Like, it really does, hearing, like, you guys and your, like, all your input inspires us so much. It makes me want to go in store and continue your legacy and continue to make like build up what I do so that it reflects great on you because of all this hard work that you're doing because we are all giant like we are all pieces of the giant puzzle and I can't have a bad day because I yeah. don't want that to reflect negatively on any of you because you're working so hard so exactly. thank you for all that you're doing like it is well, I insane. think about all the locations I've worked at and been over I've been with Mac for what 15 years mm. oh, I wow. mean a long time I weird to say that out loud but I literally have grown up um, I listened to Parisa the other day say you know all the things she's been through in her life with Mac and I feel the same exact way like mm -hmm. through a marriage and two kids and cars and homes and a niece and a nephew like um, I just think of all those experiences that I've brought Mac along my journey and uh -huh. it just I'm so grateful every day to what I do and the people I work for and it's why I do what I do uh -huh. is because of all the people that I've touched along the way and I'm just so grateful to them you know Ooh. I just am you're crying right now my eyes it's so beautiful I'm really connected Allergic. to this blush I'm living for this I know look. I'm so I was waiting for Ten to say something but she didn't so. oh maybe she did I scrolled real quick it's fine but, but I, I think figured since I wasn't very invested yes, in this I conversation saw that. thank you Ten that I would at least like bring it up a notch and I got a new fade if you guys can't see oh Ooh. sorry I you know like I, I Ten did ask about like have you ever made any lifelong friends with your customers? Because I think something that I always think about is that this brand mm -hmm. has created my lifelong friends. The way that I connect with people in this brand is unlike any way that I connect with anyone else in the world. Like, I, my best friends work for this brand. Yes, because I, I just agree. feel like I've found mm -hmm. twin flames in them. Like, yep. we, ha we have so much to relate on, but it's a brand full of such incredible people mm -hmm. that you already like have like this amazing group of like friends and then they're the coolest people out there but I've always like wondered do our customers feel that same way do they feel like they are just as much yeah. a part of the family do they feel that connected yeah like yeah. do they like and I think that some do like I know there's there's people that I have met that I've thought like they were the meanest customers because they scared me and like they weren't super like talkative mm -hmm. and then I've connected with them and I still talk to them now I there's a woman I remember from Mac Mission that like scared me so much she was so pretty so so fun doing her makeup but I was just like you I've never seen your like your teeth do you have them like can you smile I'm not quite sure <laughs> and we finally broke down barriers and like I've done both of her daughter's weddings uh -huh. I like she 
that like is constantly text me just randomly like hey what do you think about this product like I was just wondering and it feels so good to know like someone trusts me like that yeah and to that invite I you into their lives totally. in that way and I think that's the connection mm -hmm. like how we have how I've been connected with Mac and the things that they've been through I think that there's customers out there that have allowed us that same opportunity and now it's just you know how can we do that with everyone I guess that's the thing I think about, you know, leaving here today and all the things we've said and the connections that we've made with all of you and that's inspiring. That totally. fills my bucket. And there's you know, we have to find little wins in everything that we do and something like this is a big win. Yeah. Well, even so Jamie's on here, City Life Diva, she um is she just said she's friends with so many of her artists uh -huh. and she started connecting with me on Instagram, asking me things and we just started talking and when I went to Milwaukee, we were able to meet up. We had brunch. No way. Like she has become such an awesome person in my life. She went to the Bahamas and um got a cigar, like sent Alondra a cigar. Um she's Alondra. going back. Yes, Alondra, not Alejandra. Alejandra. Um, Sorry, Alondra. You know, but like she she is has been brought in my life and not only through Mac but through social media and Mac which I yeah. think is so crazy and like I think that social media gets such a bad rap sometimes about like disconnecting people but it has connected me to people in a way that I don't always I get to. I think it's to. how you use it too. Totally. And, and it's I, not topical. It's it's, it's like mm -hmm. taking the extra step right but that's just that it's going the extra mile and finding a way to like connect and make it about them and and you and giving them you know a piece of yourself every time I, I try you know a lot of that is driven from like my family and my my sisters and my mom my mom is crazy but she has the most fun no matter where she goes and she can connect with anyone mm -hmm. all of the time and I'm so like envious of that because she just doesn't care she doesn't care yeah, and she wants so cool. everyone to be her friend and it's such a like a great attribute to have mm -hmm. and something I strive for and try to like force onto my kids mm -hmm. you know yeah, I mean, I was talking the other day, like, I, I forget who I was talking to, but we, I was talking about my relationship with Alondra, and, like, I aspire to those qualities in uh -huh. her, and that's why I love being around her, because she does, loves connecting with people, and, like, she leaves a room, and people are like, God, I love her, and yeah. I, it takes, you know, sometimes it takes a little warming up to me, because I'm a little more introverted, and I aspire so much to have those qualities, I think that so many of you guys do, just so you know, um, the story that you wanted to know about with the woman in trans transition oh, yes. is from East Vale. East Vale. That's my story. Well, there you go. Look at that. You, it wouldn't, we should go there. We should go there. I I, I told Ashley that I want to go to Ulta with Ulta. her. So maybe we'll be coming and, and hanging See, out so with I you. must not follow you on Insta then. I'm not good at Instagram. I need to get better. I told Alicia that today. I'm, it's, I'm technically inclined when it comes to that. Is that the right word? I don't think so, but it's okay. okay. It, I think we're, they're I can picking do better. up what you're putting down. All right, all right. Um, Martha, I would love to come to your counter and hang out with you guys. Uh, you you guys blew me away at Update Go, and the passion that you guys have for your counter and for your customers is infectious, and I would love to hang out with you. Um, we got some extended play mascara fans. They yes. see your ears it's, in Okay, there. so it's like one of the only ones that... I'm really allergic, so what I'm allergic to is the um, the dimethicone in some of our shadows, um, and I only know that because of Christopher, actually. Of course, um, he's, he's like a rain that man. Rain man, yeah. yes. Um, and so I can use this because it washes off with warm water, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it like washes off with tubes. It, yes, it creates tubular um, what it, onto your barrels onto your lashes makes it look longer but I am obsessed I actually like the new one too a lot um, I just couldn't find it at the facility um, I love Mac Americana's on and um, Jesse was on earlier basically everyone that won um, the contest last week uh, we I wanted know, to give I, a shout wait. out to Mac Americana because they had so much participation their content that they were sending out for Powder Kiss was amazing Mac Americana you're awesome and if you could please DM us your um, information like your guys' store address we would love to send you a little something and Jesse your posts all of the time Always. I'm mind blown yeah and even your personal post because I I follow you regardless you, and where you live like the um you have she has the they're like grapevines in front of her house 
I'm obsessed. I think it's like the cutest thing ever, but your makeup posts are so inspired. You know, I was telling um, Alicia about a story earlier from Nordstrom's Riverside of Alex. Um, Alex is an artist there and she was doing this woman's makeup and I was thinking about this because it's just like an awareness like she just had this sense of awareness um, about her and she's doing this woman's makeup good interaction they were having a good time and all of a sudden the lady the woman shut down and Alex was like wait what just happened she turns to one of her co-workers she's like I think something's wrong well the lady's blood sugar had dropped and Alex was so in tune with what was happening and like wasn't afraid to yeah. say something or do something and the lady was so grateful she went she got something to eat it was she obviously knew you know they had gotten her the help she needed they checked her blood sugar it was super low she ended up getting something to eat and then she comes back she comes back and she bought all the stuff Alex put on her and Alex was like I'm just so happy that you're okay like Thank you for coming back, but I'm just happy you're okay. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, she's so genuine in her interactions. She really is. She is. Alex is but awesome. But she was so in tune with the fact that something had changed. And it wasn't like, oh, she didn't like it, but it was the connection they had made before. Yeah. You know? Well, it, it was all about that connection that they had made before. Well, and that's what was so, in, like, when she was telling me this story, I was like, I think that all of us would like care about that but I think that sometimes like when something like that happens like when all of a sudden like something changes it's scary to be like wait what happened or like we don't necessarily always know how to deal with that so the fact that she was like no something is not right here and I need to do something about that that I think is what shows just her character and how totally. far she's willing to go for somebody mm -hmm. because she didn't know what the outcome was. She didn't know if the customer was going to be like, you know what, actually, I don't like any of this. I don't like you. I don't like this. Like, right. this sucks. <laughs> yeah. Like, she didn't know what was going to come right. out of that woman's mouth, but she cared enough about her to be like, what is happening here and how do I make it better? Exactly. Yep. Just taking the time and really being present to a person and genuinely listening to what they come in or they need um that human connection will go far diana so true diana, yes uh, i think you do that though you're always very connected diana i know that about you you know i think that i think that that's a big reason even why we do this yeah like, this human connection this is so important like i told ashley like she was coming on here and she's like i don't know this is scary I, so I don't know what we're gonna do and i was like dude you don't even understand like this these lives give me all of the life total mm -hmm. vita totally. like I am feeling it like I ride this wave of you guys and positivity and your energy for the entire week and it's because I get to connect with you I like I need that I can't just I can't like I, my glue has dried on my lash 47 times because I like, <laughs> can't even put it on because I I feel it and I I like I selfishly these lives mean so much to me just because you guys inspire me to be a better trainer, a better Mac artist, a better part of this community, and really push myself to think, how can I evolve? What can I do to continue to make this go even further? And it's all because of what you guys bring. So thank you for that, everyone. I know this, I feel like this, at, at first I was so nervous. I didn't know what I was gonna say. Well, let alone what I was gonna look like on TV next to Alicia on TV, because to me it feels like TV. Oh jeez, yeah. <laughs> um, so dumb. But I feel like it's like changed my perspective on what this does and what it brings and just the amount of people I've been able to touch in such a small amount of time and people I don't even have known or work with or have worked with, I just think it's so wonderful to be able to talk in this space and feel comfortable enough to share your successes and talk about the challenges because we know they're there and that's mm -hmm. realistic. Like, hi, you know, we've all been in that place. Um, but it, it's just been wonderful. Yeah, we, we only we have, have like seven more minutes, okay. just so you know. Well, I finished my makeup. I'm gonna put the lip on now. Yeah, um, I'm getting there slowly but surely. Wow. Um, but I love, I love that you guys are enjoying this as well. I think that you know, if anything, like we were saying, like sometimes I was talking at Downey yesterday, and like people were complimenting the team just on like welcoming them. Like that was so. Like mm -hmm. sometimes people's expectation is just so low for like there aren't a lot of connections and so I think that even I empower you guys to have this sort of dialogue with your team like talk with your team connect a with real your conversation people. like yes I agree it, I think like 
talk about this kind of stuff. Like, how do we, what are we all gonna do to go the extra mile? Like, don't mm -hmm. feel like it needs to be your manager that leads that, or don't think that that makes, like that's a weird conversation. Like, I think that sometimes it's fun to kiki and talk about what you guys did on the weekend or whatever, like that connects us, but like really building and growing together is going to create those bonds that will last forever. Oh, thank, Victor's on, thank you. We'll Hi, Victor! <laughs> yeah, I think that, you know, like, it. this doesn't have to just be here. Of course, we will put this up for 24 hours. We'll Absolutely. then put it on YouTube, but... But make it last. Yeah, Keep like, it going. Use this as a crutch to start that, that conversation. Pay it forward. No. I was trying to think of the word. Look at you, just with all the you gems. You have lashes on? I can't wear lashes. Yeah. What? I told you, I was just smoky eye. My lips, my lips, my eyes would die. I just so you guys know her space is like super dirty and it's giving me major anxiety. Okay, first of all, not dirty. Things are just not perfectly in line. There's no dirt. There is it's no okay. it's not dirty. Is there there's it's not a just, dirty tissue? There's nothing. You messy. Oh wow, you're not bringing me dirt right now. <laughs> <laughs> Um is that so what is this slip what's oh, happening it's high drama it's not done yet but i have to say with the prep and prime lift underneath it it is so much better i'm really? an avid yeah i love retro matte i love our formula of retro matte my favorite color that we don't make anymore is red jade so if mm, you have it mm -hmm. i will trade you yeah I think, if you have red jade i, think I, I already one. have alicia's yep oh, yeah, okay. but i need another one okay. um but this is high drama i if i'm gonna wear a dark lip i usually do this because I notice a lot of the times too, it'll like bleed out like in the corner. So I'm hoping it doesn't do that. The other thing is I want to tell you guys, I tell you, suggest, I did put the prep and prime in my brow and I really do like it. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, is this better? Thank you. you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, I, excuse me, I am going to put on this gloss that's become the infamous gloss um, because it is magical. Esther did this to my life and now I can't stop. It's Marble Fawn. I don't have the pretty packaging from Electric Wonder, but I do find that like as the day, it, like what I love about it is that it goes on super sparkly, but it stays like sparkles of glitter, but because they're like transparent, it doesn't overwhelm it. Um, and I find that, the, I hope that the Prep and Prime will hold it on that much longer because I love this lip. I just put a little bit of uh, strip down, which I never ever Me? really wear. Um, strip around, down liner? Around my lip, yeah. Well, she was looking for cork. I love cork. But you know what? And then I suggested barbecue for all you oldies but goodies. Where would I find that? I don't if know. If I can't find cork in the facility, has everything. Like, you swear. But I think that, you know, sometimes out of um, not finding the product that you need at counter or whatever, you find something that you love. So uh, this is, strip down might be my, my new combo. Um, okay. Oh, Carlton says that, that they may have it. He may, oh, he may have red jade. Carlton. Carlton is just a, a gem Special when it comes to, you know, bringing stuff out of the archives. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like hunted everyone down in the facility. I think Susanna even gave me hers. Wow, you're just mm -hmm. taking it for everyone. Are you, where are you wearing this? Not when I'm working. Oh, okay. Good. Good. <laughs> it's like, never. <laughs> So you just have oh, a yeah, bunch of yes. them on like your vanity? I hoard makeup, but I only wear like a certain amount of makeup, but I have a full like um, eight drawer, like vintage, like, I don't know what it's called. It's a tall boy, if you guys know, <coughs> um, full of makeup and I just hoard it. Wow. Um, I know Dre has been, if anyone out there, Copper Beach Sculpting Cream, the um, pro sculpting creams, like when Coffee Walnut and all those came out, yes. she is on the hunt for it. Okay. I looked in my collection, I don't see it, but I'm gonna continue. I know Danny has a bunch of random stuff in the garage, um, but if anyone out there got that, just send it to Dre, she will forever be in uh, your debt. She will be like a Lannister and pay you back. Oh, Caitlin has one, we have two minutes left. Caitlin! She has a red J. Hand it over. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, this wait, lip is, it's nothing. It's just a like gloss. It's so good. Get out of here. See, doing my makeup next to her. Come on. Are you kidding me? Look at how rad this looks. I know. Well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting text messages. Um, I have one more thing before we yeah. go. I have two minutes. Okay. Not even. We have.
have our Cerritos like unveiling on Thursday, correct? And uh, Fashion Valley. Right, but I'm going to Cerritos. Okay. Where are you going? I I would I don't know. I'm Cerritos. Let's just say I'm gonna be. I don't. I haven't scheduled it. We're coming but for you, Cerritos. Come come grab this lip. That's why I was going with it. Cause then you can get it then if you are in the area. So Fashion Valley or Cerritos. I don't know the time. So maybe if someone's on from Cerritos, like if you go to Max Cerritos page, there I'm sure go. if you go to Fashion um, Valley as posted. well, they have mm -hmm. um, invites on there. Come and, and then, play. Come have fun. Yeah, and keep your eyes open on social because Aladdin is launching ex exclusive at um, Disney Springs this week so I'm sure awesome. there's gonna be a ton of cool stuff so on there um, but oh and trend show with uh, Victor. and trend show with Victor is like the king of trend shows mm -hmm. yeah, amazing so tons of stuff happening there's a lot of things out there so I think take what we talked about here and inject it into the rest Absolutely. of your week we wish we could talk to even longer Forever. but this was amazing you guys are incredible and inspire us so much thank, thank you, you so for much thank you this. for having me it was wonderful yes i'm so grateful to all of you i hope you have a beautiful rest of your day it's such a beautiful monday inspire people keep the message going pay it forward bring joy mm -hmm. all the things hold a bunny and a puppy that's right. Not an orca. Um, we'll put this on YouTube no and we'll keep it up for the next 24 hours. Bye. Peace out, guys. Love you all.